We have officially arrived at the World Cup Stadium. This is setting up to be a disaster, but there's no way we're playing in the stadium, right? Hopefully I signed up for futsal and not full game, because Lord Jesus, I ain't gonna be able to run full field. Not on my first day out. There ain't no way in hell. I was gonna say, I'm gonna be tired before we even get started. Oh, you gotta start somewhere, right? This is gonna be pretty rough. I haven't played soccer in, I guess it's almost six, seven months now. But I also haven't been able to find a place to play that I didn't have to pay for. Um, I saw a couple fields where guys were playing pickup, one field where guys were playing pickup in the uh, I didn't get on because they didn't know me and I came late. I came early the next day and the guy was telling me, oh, we already have teams. <coughs> I mean, I think I can eventually get on. They just don't know me. So, and it's kind of far, but anything closer, you got to pay for the field. And, uh, I'm not ready to do that. Well, I say that, but I'm about to go pay for this field to play on right now. But it's at a nice field. It's close to me. It's 20 minutes away by subway. I think it's like three or four stops away. It's at the World Cup Stadium. About to find out what that looks like. I bet it's pretty nice. But uh, we're about to see. If I don't hurry up and leave, I'm going to be late. So I'm going to shut this off and and going to get going. I like how the camera doesn't follow me. I need to learn how to do that. Anyway, hopefully you heard all that. All right, we have officially arrived at the World Cup Stadium. This is setting up to be a disaster, but hey, I hadn't played in so long. Oh, right, you gotta look at this. <laughs> I hadn't played in so long, you gotta start somewhere, right? So, anyway, let me flip this around so you can see what I just saw. There we go. All right, let's see. Now that is a set of stairs. <laughs> I'm gonna be tired before you get started. Oh, I think I escalators, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm gonna be tired before we even get started. <laughs> All right, I gotta figure out where to go. All right, so I'm gonna shut this off for a second. All right, I still, I don't know if you can hear me, but I still hadn't figured out where to go. Try to check these emails again. Show you the stadium. There's no way we're playing in the stadium, right? Nice little entrance to the park. Ah, let's look at this map. I'll let you look at people walking by while I figure this out. Details. I don't know if you can see in the distance, but there's some people playing basketball with a basketball court. Sending people out. Ah, there it is. I see soccer players. Oh, it says futsal court. Let's see, let's go see. Hopefully I signed up for futsal and not full game, because Lord Jesus, I ain't gonna be able to run full field. Not on my first day out. There ain't no way in hell.
there is a bathroom, thank God, but if I gotta go, I doubt there's a, hopefully there's modern toilets and not the sit down kind, cause that's some BS, bro. Motorcycle, Western guys. I assume there's gonna be a bunch of Western guys. <laughs> Hopefully, I have a good game. I will show you me playing, but. I know it's not gonna be a pretty sight, so <laughs> it's as much as I'm gonna record for now. <laughs> the aftermath, I loved it. Uh, very well organized. There are three small pitches. The facility takes our temperature before even allowing entry and you had to scan in your info to prove you are on the reservation list. A total of four teams, six players, each team, everyone alternates a keeper after a few minutes. And the teams with the best record at the end of the night play each other in the final game, which is what you're looking at here. I even like this weird glowing ball thingy that alternated colors, just something different. Hopefully I can find as many interesting pitches throughout Seoul to play at. If you know of one, please leave a comment and I'll check it out. Overall, not too bad. I'm just out of shape as expected. One simple night of football was a complete shock for my body. So I spent the next day or two trying to work out the muscle soreness. Now, don't laugh, you might be here one day too. Anyway, here's a bit of my recovery process. I found this nice park on the top of a gigantic hill not too far away from the apartment. So this is where we'll pick it up at. Remember, I don't need a lot of exercise today. I'm extremely sore. That doesn't look too bad, right? I'm kinda liking that. It's a little more exclusive. Cause this other side over here, when you're jogging on, on that part, and right now there's somebody walking on it, an old person, I don't wanna scare them, so. Let's just go to the top and see if the basketball court is open because I might just do the jog and shoot because I need to shoot anyway. Alright, let's see what's up. Nice to have a little shade. Jesus. So I'm tired just from walking up the hill to get here. I don't know. I'm wasting time now. So I'm just going to take shots against this little wall over here. These would be pathetic shots, but it's uh, right now it's better than nothing six months without touching the ball. I mean, I, my touch wasn't too bad yesterday. I was a little surprised, but I had no speed on the ball. Yeah, no quickness at all. All I could do was kind of defend and get in the way and then open up space uh, up top. Receive a ball, I could receive a ball, but I couldn't get past my man. So, I mean, I did a few times. I was able to get one shot away, but there was no power on the shot, so hence just trying to place a ball right now of course i don't expect to accomplish too much but at least going through the action going through the motion of hitting a ball <laughs> eventually i'll build up power later on but right now i just need to get started Pretty pathetic, right? 
right? I don't mind showing you this because I know there's gonna be a day where I'm back and I'm not sore and I'm loose and I can hit the ball cleanly and accurately and without pain, without being an old man. You can't step away for seven months and not play, not even move and uh, try to come back and play soccer. It just doesn't work like that. And uh, yeah, I feel stupid right now, but like I say, I don't mind showing you this until I know I'm back to normal. So <laughs> I'll show you just so other people can see. Sometimes you gotta start from zero, start from scratch. And uh, it's what it takes.